Hi Jack, great to catch up today. Uh, just to recap on today's session, if we let's take a little look at your action from down the line first. Uh, if you compare this to your footage on previous lessons, you'll see a marked improvement on the path of the golf club. Still a little bit on the inside for such a short shot, but nowhere near as much as it used to be. If we look at the club face at that point, we've now got the toe end pointing up, whereas we used to have the toe end pointing much more sort of out in front of you in a more hooded position over here with a much flatter back of the left wrist. So, you know, marked improvement in that position there. On the way through, we make a nice release and you can see there that you keep the loft on the club face as you come through. You're trying to play a high lob shot there. So you're controlling the trajectory of your shots much better by the way you release the golf club. So a marked improvement from that view. If we just take a little look now from face on and we start to see why we're getting a little bit on the inside when it comes to the actual swing. As we take the club back in the practice swing, we can see that the club head moves early and there's a marked setting of the wrist so that you can see the, if we illustrate that with an angle, just so that we can, we can refer to that and compare this to your actual swing. You can see the set of the wrist there in the practice swing, really, really good. And then a nice release on the way through as we discussed earlier. If we then take a little look at the actual swing, we start the club back nicely. See there, there's not much shaft travel or grip travel early on in the golf swing. But then as we take the club back further, we don't set the wrist quite as much. And you can see there, there's a marked difference in the angle on your actual swing compared to the angle in the practice swing. Yeah, almost 32 degrees difference there. So we need to work on setting that club a little bit more on the way back as per your practice swing. Your goal between now and when we get together next is to try to make your actual swing more like your practice swing. More wrist set will produce a path that's more neutral and will give you a little bit more control of the trajectory of your shots. Having said that, as we discussed today, marked improvement on your previous lessons. Uh, you're now seeing signs during the rounds of golf that you play in the 66 you shot in the Scottish boys was great because you had a run there where you missed a few greens on the spin and you still managed to save par. And you can see that lovely release is starting to take place now. I mean, that movement there, if you go back to the first session we did that's on the YouTube channel and compare this release to the release you saw initially, it's chalk and cheese, massive improvement. Really pleased with the progress you're making, Jack. And as I said, if you can give me a call, let me know where you get on the Brav Qualifier. And I'm sure that you're progressing nicely. You'll have a great season. And I look forward to working with you in the future. Well done.